Happy Monday, guys. This is week three of the programming. Uh, we got that Imam back again. So Imam 24. Uh, first minute, we're going to do 8 to 15 cows on the bike or the rower. Um, so we've already done this one, uh, a similar style of workout about two weeks ago. So if you remember what kind of calorie range you were going, choose that today or maybe add one rep to that. Then second minute, we got 6 to 12 burpee box jump overs. These are going to be a little taxing. So start off smaller. If you do six reps at a time, then if it feels good, maybe get up to that eight range or 10 range. You got six to 12 reps, and you can choose that rep range based on what you feel and based on your experience with the burpee box jump overs. You wanna be working for at least 30 seconds, but no more than 45, so you can kinda of watch the clock to get a gauge of how many reps you're doing. Third minute, 30 to 50 double unders, or 90 to 150 single skips. And then for the last move, we got five to 10 power snatches, or so weightlifting movement. Um, you can do touch and go here or in singles. Again, 30 seconds to about uh, 45 seconds of work. Uh, with those power snatches, be nice and efficient. Choose that progression and that weight where you can maintain and have the best technique with. So today's not about learning how to do the power snatch. It's more about being as consistent as possible with that snatch. The goal of the EMOM 24 today is to build endurance. So treat each interval as its own workout each time. I would say, Pick a progression, pick an intensity that can be consistent from one minute to the next so that you can get that endurance stimulus out of this workout today. So if you find that you're working all the way to the minute, maybe break down the movements a little bit more, do a little a less, so you can be more consistent across the 24 minutes. That fatigue is gonna build up uh, from one round to the next, so make sure as you're doing this one, you're slowly adjusting based on where you're at with it. Uh, if you find that you're getting close to that uh, threshold and you can't sustain it, go less reps. If you find it's too easy, add a little bit more. Record these numbers because we're going to be doing a lot of EMOMs as we go through uh, the, throughout the cycle. Uh, and it's important to know where that rep range is. And EMOMs are a great way to kind of understand what your pacing is in a workout and what you can sustain. Hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you guys tomorrow.